Okay, so you are very welcome. This is a masterclass, Metatron masterclass. And we're going to be here for maybe about 40 minutes. And then there's about maybe 20 minutes for questions and answers. Um, I've left an hour and a half for the call. And that's up to you if you want to use that extra time. I'm here. I'm available for an hour and a half. So if you have one, any other questions at the end of the call, we, we'll also look at them. So there is a chat box. If you're on your computer, it should be on, the, on the, your phone as well. There is a chat box. If you can find that and any questions that you have, anything at all that you'd like me to answer during the anything that's going on with you in your life, and particularly in your spiritual business, because that's the work that I do at Metatron at the moment. But any questions that you have, pop them in the chat box and I'll do my very best to get to them either throughout the show or at the very end. So I think what we need to do is just take a breath for a minute. So if everyone, you can just take a breath wherever you are, put your feet flat on the ground and just bring yourself into the space. So a nice big breath. And as you're releasing that breath, allow your shoulders to relax. Allow your body just to, to really get comfortable in the chair. And allow a smile to come on your face. Just relaxing your facial muscles. Just really bringing your focus and your attention into your body and down into your base chakra, down into the ground. And imagine thick, strong roots coming from the soles of your feet, going down, down deep into the ground. And just allowing the angels to help us to, to get grounded, a lovely sense of security and safety. When we get connected with the earth, it gives us more confidence. It gives us more confidence, more clarity, a wonderful sense of security and connection. So just bringing your attention down into your feet. And usually we spend most of our time up here in mind, running around doing 365 things a minute. And just by taking a breath and bringing yourself down into your body, down, 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 down into your feet. It can take you away from mind and back to your soul, back to that voice, back to that center that's within you. Because even though you're focusing on your base, you're focusing on your feet and the earth, it really brings you back into your heart. It really brings you back into that heart space, which is, if we all made our decisions from that space, life would be much, much easier. But unfortunately, we get, and that's me too, I'm putting my hand up, we get um, pulled or distracted with the busyness of life. So it's really important, and I teach that in all my courses, it's really, really important just to take just even a few breaths, just to get yourself centered, to get yourself back into your body. So we're going to take one more breath together. And another breath, the last one. And just notice the difference. Notice there's a very slight difference in your body just from those three simple breaths. Isn't it amazing? Just from those three simple breaths, there's a huge difference in your body. I know for me, I feel more centered. I feel more confident. I feel more relaxed. So we just call in all of God's angels, all of the archangels, especially Michael, Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel, four beautiful archangels, Archangel Metatron, whose energy we're going to really work with today. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. But especially your guardian angel. So just call in your guardian angel to, to be beside you today, to wrap their wings around you, to feel the comfort of their presence in your life. They're always there. They've been there since before you were born. They'll be there until your time comes to leave this plane. But 
it's only when we really connect, you know, it's like we have some really great friends out there in the world, but it's only when we pick up the phone and connect with them that we can, we can really make use of that friendship, that we can make a deeper connection. So today we're just connecting in with your guardian angel, just bringing that angel because that angel knows what's best for you in your life. And that angel will protect you and make sure that the information that you're receiving from me, from my heart, it will be filtered so that you'll only receive what you need to help you in your life on your path. And sometimes the words have an energy, but it's sometimes beneath the words. There's, there's an energy of healing and love. And even if you come on this, this call, this class, and you only remember 10%, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need right now in your life. And the next time when you listen to it, you get something different. At the moment, a lot of people, and if you signed up for this webinar, you'll get the, the free meditation, complete chakra power. Some people are doing that over 21 days, and they're telling me that every time they do it, they're having a different experience. They're remembering different things. So your guardian angel works as your filter, your loving filter, to make sure you only get what you need in your life. So we really welcome in <sighs> that presence. And I'm just going to ask you just to set your intention to the day, for the day. So we have an hour together, more or less, maybe an hour and a half, maybe longer. So what is your intention? Why did you make this space to be here today? What is it that you would like to achieve by the end of this, this hour? And I'm just going to give you a minute to write that in the chat box, and I'm going to just talk <clears throat> I can see that people are already posting messages and questions and that's okay. I will get to them at some stage in the call. And thanks for the high five, Regina. So make sure you're comfortable. So I'm going to tell you just a little bit about, I'll tell you what we're going to do in the air. And that might change. It usually does. <laughs> I have a plan and then we usually throw it out. So we'll see what happens. But my plan is to talk to you a little bit for anyone that's new to me and to my work, just maybe spend a couple of minutes, minutes just telling you about my story and why I'm doing this work. And then I'm going to very quickly jump into three things that I said I would cover during this masterclass. And that is, I have, a, I have them written down here so I can remember. <clears throat> that is helping you to get really, really clear on your life purpose and your sacred contract so that you can begin to serve the clients that you're uniquely here to serve as a light worker. And the other thing is to help you to figure out where you're already a master in your life. So I'm going to talk a little bit about mastery and I'm going to try and dispel a few myths around this master uh, title that we give ourselves. So we're going to talk a little bit about mastery <clears throat> and where help you to discover where you're already a master in your life. And the other thing is to help you as a holistic practitioner, to help you as a holistic practitioner to be able to create a business that's sustainable, that's profitable, and that's fulfilling. And we're going to break that down and have a look at that. And then after that, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, my beautiful program called Mastery with Metatron. And lots of you on the call will know about that. And if you're, if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll give you a link. I think I actually posted one on the chat box somewhere. So you're welcome to find that scroll up and click there and um, find out more about that program. But while we're here, let's just really bring ourselves here. Hi, Inga. Hi, Inga. How are you? Very welcome. We just did a little short meditation. So just to ground ourselves so you can do that yourself. Just take a few breaths. You've done it before with me. So just take a few breaths and just bring yourself into your center and bring yourself really here into this moment. So. I'm going to take some, some <laughs> coffee from a Scooby-Doo mug. Scooby-Doo always helps me relax. It's actually my son's mug, but I, I've stolen it. I kept it for myself <laughs> because it makes me smile and it makes me relax. So here we go. So a little bit about my story. I won't go into the, the big details because <clears throat> I know some of you have already had, heard it before. <clears throat> But I've been communicating with the other side, with spirits, since I was about 16. 
<clears throat> so that's nearly, oh God, it's too long, nearly 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when I was about 16, my grandfather, um, my grandfather, uh, I was having an awful dream, a really horrendous dream. I won't even go into the details of the dream. But I, I became lucid in the dream and I couldn't wake up. And I became quite distressed and frantic and panicked and started screaming out for help within the dream as I, as I was still asleep. And I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but it can be quite scary, especially if it's not a nice place that you wake up in and you can't wake up from. So I was in this dream, screaming, crying for help. Please, somebody help me. God, anybody, please help me. And my grandfather arrived in the dream in a tunnel of light and, and told me to come, come towards him. And I went towards him and I woke up. As I reached him, I woke up. Now, he had died two years before that. And it doesn't sound like a, a big a big thing but for me soon after that I began to feel his presence more and more in my life I began to um feel this and, and receive this this guidance from him in every single area of my life that it was a constant presence and that that was my reality for about 10 years I had my grandfather with me I never told anyone and I'm still today not really sure why, why I didn't tell it. It wasn't really ever a conscious decision. Um, but for some reason, I just didn't. I didn't tell anyone on t for about 10 years. And um, then I did start to talk about my experiences. And, you know, thinking that you have spiritual guidance, you know, you have it made and life is perfect. It's not, you know, we still have to go. I was only 16. I still had, had a lot of SHIT to go through in my life and you know we we all have these trials and traumatic situations that we that we uh, most of us I think everybody on this call everybody I work with nobody really comes to angels unless they're, they're they've experienced some sort of trauma or difficulty in their lives and they're looking for help so I you know I, i'll give you where i found the angels i was at a point in my life where everything looked fantastic i was um partying i was living in florida i was working in an irish bar living with a gang of irish girls we were partying morning noon and night um, and this was in sunny florida you know, and lots of people were quite envious of where I was and the life I was leading. And but at that time, I, I I probably hadn't even acknowledged it, but there was something within me. There was a gnawing. There was an emptiness within me that I couldn't quite place. That I couldn't. I was missing something. I wasn't happy. About. Four or five months into the into my time, my time in Florida, I was coming. I was on a bike coming down a a a hill, which was at full speed, which was what my life was like, <laughs> full speed ahead, <laughs> really excessive and on the go. And a car pulled in, and I was coming down the hill and went straight into the car. It didn't indicate, and miraculously, I wasn't I wasn't really badly hurt. I ended up with a big neck brace and lots of um very strong painkillers but i i had about a week off work and i remember sitting in our apartment which was usually quite noisy one evening and i put on some music that i had bought randomly i didn't even know what the music was and it was sarah mclaughlin's music in the arms of angels you're pulled from the record to me you find some comfort here and that music just opened up my heart something inside of me just cracked open and everything that I had been hiding, all of the pain, all of the, the, the emptiness, the depression, the, the anxiety, the, everything that was happening behind this front of, of happy life came to the surface. And I just broke down into tears and fell on my hands and knees and just asked for help. Please help me. God, angels, whoever is out there, just help me. And even having the presence of my grandfather there throughout my life. 
you know, you can get all the guidance that that we can all we're all receiving guidance all the time. But unless you take action steps to actually change something in your life, then then it doesn't make any difference. We do need we're the ones that are living in this physical plane and we need to take action. So I, I took action. I surrendered it all up. I stopped controlling it and just gave it up to God, gave it up to the angels. And if God, the word God annoys you, just replace that with love. So I gave it up to love. I gave it up to love. And I just said, help me because I can't do this anymore on my own. I have no idea where I'm going. And if I keep going this way, it's going to be a disaster. You know, there wasn't a burning bush. There wasn't a flash or a bolt of lightning. An angel didn't come into the sitting room because that probably would have terrified the living daylights out of me. But there were subtle differences and changes in my life that I knew my prayers had been answered. Within two weeks, my mother arrived in Florida, surprise visit. <clears throat> Within six weeks, <coughs> unexpectedly, I arrived back in Ireland. Within six months, I was doing a holistic health course, a full year program, studying every element of holistic health, yoga, massage, um, anatomy, reflexology, stress management, um, Reiki, everything. And then after a year there, I went and did a year in art, um, art college, which for me was basically those two years combined were, 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 both ways to explore and to heal. In those two years, that's when my healing began, really. And when I did the big chunk of it. So I'm going to try and fast forward here a little bit. So throughout the next uh, 10 years, I, I, that was the starting point. I met teachers. I began working uh, in a shop with, with healers and gemstones I was a shop assistant there and I was surrounded with spiritual books and gems and teachers and so I did that for a couple of years I joined a spiritual circle I became a sponge for everything spiritual I joined the spiritual circle for three years and learned everything there was to know about connecting with spirit and transmediumship and all that sort of stuff but after the three years there was still something missing one night in the circle Archangel Michael came to me and set this presence set on my lap that's the only way I can describe it this heat filled my body and there was nowhere for that to go within that circle at that time no one somebody said yeah that's Archangel Michael I said I got a presence it was Michael but there was nowhere for that to go so within a week I had shifted from this group I found an angel group and the moment I walked into that room I was this is it I'm home I don't need to go anywhere else do anything else this is it I'm home the energy, the just the pure love. When I walked into that space, the pure love and just no judgment, no agendas. It's just love, this loving space. And that's that's what I love about the angels. And that's what I try to give to you in these classes, in, 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 in my courses, in everything that I do. I try to just let you know that, that there's that there's that loving presence that is just there holding us all up in our lives if we just take a moment to connect in with it so fast forward again the angel circle I was in closed so very very quickly hands trembling I set up my own angel circle started teaching people liked it they kept coming back still trembling I kept going after about two years I realized that I had Transform at Angels in 12 Weeks, which is my now my online program. I had a full 12 um, angel meditations. And I began to share that as a format um, out in the world. I went, I was living in Brazil for a couple of years, so I really needed to get online as quickly as possible. So that was my aim was to, to just not to lose the momentum that I had built and, and really keep sharing this material that I was learning. And that was helping me so much in my life. So after about, oh my God, another maybe two years of, of still sharing the Transforming Angels material, I began to look back at things and think, you know, I had done every type of course. I had done every type of training. I even went and got a degree in education and training, a bachelor's, honest bachelor's degree in education and training so that I could be a teacher. 
even though I was teaching for years, I wanted the, the qualification to hang my hat on that. And so, but I had invested thousands and thousands and thousands of euro and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours in my holistic business. And I still wasn't making money from the business. And I was still undercharging and I was still giving away my services for free. And really, it wasn't a business. You know, it was a hobby. It was really it was my passion. But I had convinced myself that it was a business. And that is the difference. If business is profitable, it's sustainable and it uh, it's fulfilling. Spiritual business is fulfilling. So it was around that time I said, right, I need to get some help. So I started looking at business and marketing and bringing those elements into my holistic business, into my spiritual business. I set up a program. Uh, it was called Abundant Heart. I sold four places on that program. And then I sat down and said, this is not right. There's something missing here. I gave people back their money. said, no, I have to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> and the part that was missing was the soul part, was the angel part. So I put out a request to the angels and said, this is what I want to teach. I want to, there is a course, a, sign, a, a, a sentence in the Course in Miracles, which says, whatever you want to learn, teach it. And I had always believed in that, that whatever I was, you know, when I really wanted to keep working with angels, I decided to set up my own group. I was forced to set up my own group. So I began to, to, to I wanted to begin to teach um, light workers how to have a profitable, sustainable business. So I put this out to the angels, put this out and said, look, if you, if you, if you want to support me in this, I, I need, I need some soul in it. And that's when Metatron crashed bang into my life. And that is the force of Metatron because when you ask Metatron for something and you invite this angel into your life, there's a lot of stuff that falls apart. Because this archangel is about dissolving anything, absolutely anything that is not working in your life so that you can build from those new foundations. You can't build a new house on an old house. You need to completely knock down that structure. So how did that look in my life? Well, myself and my husband, my relationship just almost fell apart. We, yeah, we had some, a really rough patch and we had to go into counseling. We had to really restructure our, our relationship. That still makes me emotional because thank God we're in a good place now. And I'm really grateful for that breakdown because in that breakdown, I was able to see what wasn't working. And we were both able to build something more beautiful. If anything I'm saying is resonating, please give me some high fives, a little bit of encouragement. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> so that was one of the things. Another thing was that I completely went into burnout and exhaustion in my business. I, my hair started falling out. I became very, very tired. I went to the doctor. I got tests and he said, there's actually nothing wrong with you. You're just exhausted. And you just need to rest. So I stopped everything that I was doing and really looked at my own self-care, where that was or what, you know, it was, it was really practically non-existent. I was, and this is typical for light workers that we're out there making the world and everyone a better place. And we, we leave ourselves last on the list. So it was, it took me about a year to put myself back on the list. And sometimes I drop down. I mean, that's, you know, being honest, sometimes I do. It's a natural tendency for me to want to fix and help everyone else. And I'm really working on that to bring myself back, um, back to me. And I, I, now I notice when I'm, I veer off, um, when my self care care has been neglected and I can bring myself back to that and give me a high five if anything is resonating with you and that's right Kelly everything falls apart so that you can put it together stronger than ever and that's it that is exactly what what and that is what Metatron does thank you so much for all the support that is what Metatron does he comes in and literally it's like somebody pulling the rug from under you everything just falls apart and it's in that chaos 
it's only in a moment of trauma and chaos. In, in I don't know about you, but definitely in my life, when I stopped and said, is this it? What am I doing? What's going on? If, if there's no chaos, we just keep going along, plodding along on our path. It's only when there's chaos and there's discomfort that we and trauma that we stop and say, hang on a minute, what's going on? Is, is this, am I on the right path or not? Do I need to readjust? Do I need to change course? And that's, um, that's what Metatron did for me. And it took me, it took me about a year to get this program ready for, and for me to be ready to teach. I tried to run it again a few months later and another four people signed up, new people signed up and I, I started to teach. And again, two women said to me on the same day, the same morning, you're not ready, Ashley. When you're ready, come back to us. We really want to work with you. I mean, you can't make the stuff up. So I, I took another step back and I just, I, 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 I didn't move forward until I got all the signs. And that was in November, the 11th of November, I relaunched Mastery with Metatron in its, in its form that it's in now. And that was actually quite loose. You know, it was quite loose. I knew where I was going. I knew there was seven chakras. I knew there was seven um, points that we were going to work through, but I didn't know what that was going to look like. But another, it was this time, it was five beautiful people signed up for me and I felt that we had between us the space to really take that forward to move forward and we did it and I channeled seven modules which were just incredible and people have been walking through these modules and it's just incredible the healing the the shifts and the transformation that's been happening in their lives and in their spiritual business so mastery with metatron I'm jumping ahead is a course for light workers. I, I'm going to give you some more details and information about that. So what I want to do, I hope that's okay. If there's anything I missed, uh, give me a, give me a question, let me know, but I'm just going to jump ahead because I've just taken loads of time waffling about myself. <laughs> so, um, how to get really, really clear on your life purpose and your sacred contract. So your problem, if you're asking me, What's my life purpose and how do I get really, really clear on what my sacred contract is? If that's your question, then your the problem could be that you're you think that you're here to help everybody or that you're trying to help everybody. And I believe, and I know this is true for me, that before I arrived on this planet, I sat with my with God, with my angels. And we, we worked out a sacred contract. And in that contract, I said, I want to learn this. And they said, this would be good for you to do. Uh, and these are the people that you're going to help this time. And this is the number. Here's their names. Here's their addresses. <laughs> Here's how they're going to find you. And this is how you're going to help them. And I believe every single one of us have that in our sacred contract. But we forget and that's okay that we forget for a while so that we can go through all of these wonderful learning experiences in our lives. Everything that I've learned is available to me now to help me to, 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 to help you. Everything that you've learned in your life is available now to help you in the people that you meet in, in, in your everyday life and the clients that you have if you're in a holistic practice right now. And a holistic practitioner is a, is a healer, a coach, a um, a Reiki practitioner, an angel practitioner, anything, anywhere that you're spreading light or trying to help people in the world is to me a light worker, earth angel. Um, so where was I? So you're, you're only here to serve a certain number of people and you already know that. Your angel, your guardian angel knows that because they were there when they filled out this contract. And there are some clues. So the clues to finding out what your sacred contract is and what your life purpose is, is what you really love to do. And, and, uh, and, uh, and I'll give you an example of this. Um, you might be a healer. You might be a Reiki healer. But if, if you do Reiki with anybody, you might have different reactions to different clients or you might have a, a different experience with different clients. But some of the clients that you work with will just light you up. Some of the clients that you work with will 
just when they walk out the door, you will feel invigorated, full of um, confidence in your abilities as a healer, as a light worker. And you just can't wait to do it again. So it's that sort of a sensation. And, and I'm going to keep explaining on this. So it will become a little bit clearer as we move through the three different points. But so it's that those clients that you're here to serve. So it's the difference between putting into a Google search engine, Reiki healer. You'll find, you know, thousands and thousands of hits there on, on a Google search engine. But if you put in Reiki healer for post-traumatic stress syndrome, your searches will be, you know, made even smaller. If you put in Reiki healer post-traumatic stress syndrome, Dublin you'll get somebody right in your area, hopefully, if they've, if they've got clear on their purpose. So what I, what my aim is to help people to find out exactly what, what, what part of your work lights you up, what part of your day lights you up. So I, we know it's healing. We know it's, uh, it, it's some sort of healing work, whether that's coaching, whatever way that is. But what clients do you have are the ones that light you up and they are leading you towards your purpose. And the clients that don't light you up are not your clients. They're not in your sacred contract. They're in somebody else's sacred contract. So by you're working with them, you're distracting them from the help that they need. So you need to get really, really clear on the clients that light you up because they're the ones that you're here to serve. Isn't it so simple? Isn't it so simple? The way to find your sacred contract and your life purpose is to think about and focus on the people that you love working with. So find out what you love to do. Find out the people that you love to serve, because that's all that we're here to do is really is to serve each other. And, and the difference is the clients that are here for you will fill you with energy and joy and love and passion and confidence and you just want to keep going and going and the clients that are not yours are the ones that drain you you're getting angel chills goosebumps woo that's it that's it and that's a lovely angel sign that we're on track here so it's it's those clients that are not that are the ones that when they leave you're exhausted you've given them more than you usually give. So you've, it's gone into, I, I had a client once for three hours. How ridiculous was that? And I left, when she left, I was, st I was exhausted, but she got nothing out of it. We went around and around and around the circles. I was not, she was not part of my contract. I was not a part of her contract. That was just, a, and it was a good lesson for me to learn. So we both needed that interaction. I needed our interaction to know this is not who I need to work with. Because usually the people that I, I um, work with get me. You know, the people that you're here get you. They don't, um, you know, there's, there's a trust that's built there pretty quickly. There's an openness that's there pretty quickly. And they can just, they just get you. You know, not everybody gets me. You know, there's a million speakers and authors and everything out there. I don't like them all. I only like the ones that I, I there's a pull there. There's something, and I just follow that love. I just follow that um, sensation within me. So that's one thing I just want to say to you about. That's a very, very simple way to find out your sacred purpose and your, um, your life purpose and your sacred contract. So I'm going to move very quickly on to the next point because that will make sense again. It's, it's this, this idea of mastery. You know, I taught Reiki up to master level. I stopped teaching it because of the huge responsibility that, that was involved there that I understood that taking people through three weekends wasn't enough to, to give them mastery. I remember even my, my master students, I said to them, I'm giving you this certificate, but I can't call you a master's because can you really call it unless you can call yourself a master? And, and this is really key. And it's taken me years to get this, to really get it. And I've only really got it in the last few months and really I got a pig at our retreat at the Master at Metatron retreat there in, uh, last month that you're already a master at something in your life and again it comes back to that thing that you love and I just watched um, the movie Pixels there with my kids the other night 
and it's with Adam Sandler and he's a um he plays video games and he has a passion for video games as a child and continues with that and in later life um he is installing uh te technical techno uh, television systems and stereo systems in houses and it's not until the earth is attacked by aliens who are space invaders that he is the one to save the world because he's the only one. He is the champion, a video gamer from the 1980s, 1990s, whatever it is. And he's the only one that knows and that has put in those thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of practice as a child in learning how to beat the monsters in the video games. So he is the one that saves the, the world. So his, his mastery And his mastery, this, this is the point I'm trying to get across, his mastery was effortless. So it's like you can give 10 people a guitar. You know, you could give, I could take a guitar, you could give 10 of us a guitar, and for a year we could take lessons and we could all take the same lessons, the same courses, the same teachers. But, and we could all, at the end of that year, be quite good at guitar. We could probably belt out a tune or two but there would be one or two people in there who would become masters at that. And the difference in them was that it would become something that they, it, it would just be a natural adoration for the guitar. They would just love the guitar. They would become in tune with the guitar. They would just, um, they, they, they become masters. And I'm not sure if that's explaining it. Give me a high five if, you, if you're getting it, but there's already something Thank you. Thank you. There's already some area in your life that you are a master in. And I'll give you an example of this at the retreat. Um, so I had a, a client who is a, a Reiki um, master and a teacher and a healer. And But I can see in her, I, I could see it in her from the minute I met her, that she is here for animals that she is here for the animals. She's here um, to help animals. So we didn't we didn't really know how that was going to, to manifest, what, what way she was here for animals. So we put her on the spot in the retreat and I said to her, I just opened up the floor, Metatron guided me and said, right, the floor is this girl's now, let her lead. And I said to her, the floor is yours. Tell us all of our spirit guides, animal spirit guides. And uh, with a first panic, she jumped in. She jumped in because it was completely natural. She told all of us, uh, all of our spirit guides, I was given butterfly. I was given butterfly, which made, was so obvious to me that I didn't see it. But it makes so much sense because all of my work is about transformation. And I love the butterflies, but I just didn't see it as, as my animal spirit guide. So she um, was able to do this instantly. Now, we're still exploring exactly how she can work with animals, but she's already a master at that. I love animals. I communicate with animals. I've worked on that throughout my life, but that's not my zone of genius. That's not where my mastery really is. My mastery is helping light workers uncover their blocks, look at where they're underselling themselves, undercharging, and not really standing in the light. So my job is to help them to push and stand up into the light. Anyway, I'm going to get into that. Time is flying. It's absolutely flying here. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that you already have, you are, you are already a master at something in your life. And it's something that you have already invested thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours in. And it's so effortless, it's so easy for you to do that you don't even see it as a thing. For some people, that can be art. For some people, it can be writing, journaling. For some people, it can be, um, you know, I, I was doing lots of things. I was, a, I was an NLP practitioner. I was a life coach. I was a backflower remedy practitioner. I was a Reiki practitioner and teacher. I was a personal development teacher for years in sort of the real world. And I had all of these titles, but it wasn't until I met my coach a few years ago 
And she said to me, you're just here for the angels. You're just here to help people connect with angels. And I thought that was so difficult for me because that was so easy for me to do. This is something that I live and breathe and it's 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 my passion and it's my hobby and it's it's there's an ease and it's so easy that I think how could that be my my job how could that be my purpose but the thing is that I'm already a master in that I do it every day I've thousands and thousands of hours and the thing is that every all these other titles that I gave myself I was hiding behind them a little bit you know I wasn't standing completely in who I am and I remember the first day that I put under my name on a web page or whatever, Ashling Mooney, Angel Intuitive. And it was terrifying. And I put in a bio, teacher, healer, spiritual teacher. I was like, oh, my God, can I really call myself that? But as soon as I owned up to that, as soon as I accepted that mastery within me, the people found me. People found me from nowhere it was like i was suddenly shining and saying i'm here i work with angels i'm here to help you to connect with angels and suddenly when i said that and it was terrifying it was terrifying when i said that with the help of a coach with the help of support people found me people start messaging me i just said i just found you by accident i found you by coincidence a friend tagged me in this I don't know how I found your page. You know, I don't use Facebook ads. I probably will in the future, but at the moment I don't. People just find me and find my work. And, you know, people have booked courses with me just because it's happened two, three, four times that, that people have said to me, I found a feather and they've booked a course. So it's, it's, um, as soon as you stand up and own who you are and stop hiding behind your qualifications and your titles, um, whether that's Reiki healer, whether that's, you know, I, I was all that until you really, really get to the core of, of that thing that you can do that's so easy and that you are a master at. And I can help you with that in these videos in the Master of Metatron course, that's one of my main aims is that it's a year long program. And at the end of it, you are going to be so clear on. It won't take a year to get that. It'll take a year for you just to get your business into a good place where you start to make some money. But the first even the first one to two modules are about getting really clear on who you're here to serve and where your mastery is. But I really hope that that little piece, that rant, <laughs> helped you to sort of think about what it is that that you're already doing um that's easy <clears throat> and i know joanne is on the call joanne i know you're there and i'm going to share you a little story about you and it's animals again that i went on jo joanne is a veterinary nurse but she's uh not practicing anymore she um she's four beautiful boys and a very full life being a mother to them um i think she's starting to go back to to study now different things but uh me myself and joanne we went to uh, a course in shamanism we we're sitting in this circle it was this very small room of about 25 people all sitting on cushions and uh, on the floor uh waiting for this teacher to arrive and this cat came into the room um as cats do, everybody was, lots of people that like cats were like, oh, puss, come here. The cat just ignored everybody, walked around the room, sniffed, turned its head, and walked straight over to Joanne. Could smell that she was a veterinary nurse, that she was here for animals. That cat walked straight up to Joanne out of 25 people in that room, a packed room, found her and crawled up on her lap. And I, I said to her afterwards, oh, my God, like that cat found you. That cat knew that you were the one here to help to help animals. And she said, yeah, I noticed that he had a crooked eye. And I didn't notice he had a crooked eye. So there was, she noticed that he had issues, <laughs> that he needed help. But she's also a Reiki master. So the cat was there to receive some healing. So it's just just another little tiny story 
I hope you won't mind me sharing. That was a crazy course, a crazy day <laughs> of interesting stuff. Shamanism on the land, rums and everything else. Anyway, beautiful. So let me see. So I've done that. I've covered your life purpose. I've covered mastery. And I'm going to jump into what's the one thing that you can do to create a sustainable, profitable and fulfilling spiritual business. That is the last point. And the one thing that I believe and because it has helped me in my life is support. And that support can be flooding your mind and your life with with just the so many four 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 yes we four 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 thanks kelly that was you a master number so what i'm going to say is really really important now so a lot of light workers i'm actually feeling a bit emotional now a lot of light workers we think we're lone rangers we think we're out there and we need to do it on our own we need to do everything on our own and it, it's, it's, there's a bit of control in that you know, we're used to fixing and you can fix everything if you can control everything. I had those issues in my own life and in my marriage, you know, that I really had to look at where I was trying to control everyone and everything. You know, that was tough. I had to look at that and really peel that back and, and heal it. So the one thing that has helped me is support. I have a mastermind group, which is just for me to help me in my business. And I have um, free groups on um, on Facebook. I give this free information, these free videos and classes. And the Angel Bootcamp was a complete free month. So I do lots of things to support you on your journey. And, and one of the things that you need to do is think about what support do I need. So support can be free material that's out there. It's all over YouTube. It's all over everywhere. And that can be a level of support where we all start. I know when I wanted to learn about marketing, I just watched all the videos, the free stuff and joined all the webinars and got all the free stuff. And you can continue with that and you can continue to get the free stuff. <clears throat> and then there's a deeper level of support when you commit, when you find a teacher. And it, it can be just a tiny step for some people. You can sign up, you can buy a, a DVD or, or, or a, a short course or, you know, just put your foot in the water and just see what it's like to be supported by a group of light workers and by a teacher. And when you find that teacher, you'll know, you know, and, and, and some, I mean, I found some teachers that just weren't right for me, but that was a lesson in itself for me to help me to find the right teachers. And the, 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 the teachers that work for me are the ones that, empower me and my voice empower me to hear myself on my own intuition so they're not the ones that are telling me do it this way you know do it this way and that's it they're not that they're saying here's a suggestion try this see if it works for you if it works fantastic use it develop it grow it if it doesn't throw it out the window move on here's another thing try that so it's a teacher that is open and is, 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 has an open heart and is willing to share whatever, including their vulnerability, you know, and their honesty. One of the things that the, the, the student said to me at the, the, the Mass Root Metatron retreat last month, that she said, one of the gifts that I give is my vulnerability because I, I really shared my story and really shared the stuff, the troubles and, and strife and trials that I was happen, having in my life. And, and we all have them every single day. We can all have a Facebook profile, but we still have a normal life. There's a beautiful book that might explain that. It's called After the Ecstasy, The Laundry by uh, 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 Jack Cornfield after the ecstasy, the laundry, you know, we, we have, if you're a spiritual worker, a light worker, you have these ecstatic, incredible experiences, but then you, you, you know, you have to sort out a tantrum with your kids or, you know, you have to make the dinner. So it's about combining those, those two elements and being vulnerable and being honest and using all of your life as uh, for your spiritual growth. You know, my kids are my greatest teachers. <laughs> they bring me face to face what what I need to work on every single day. And I've spoken about this in my other videos. So have I gone off the point? So support. So support can be all that free material that's out there. Go and get it. If you need to work on forgiveness, go and Google forgiveness and go out there. If you want to learn about angels, Google angels. You will get tons of free stuff. 
if you want to take it to another level, take a course, you know, my course, someone else's course, I don't care. Just take a course, commit to some program, because I really believe that if you can commit to any sort of a program, and I see this with my students in Transform with Angels, if they can get through to week six, there's a very good chance that they'll continue. But the ones that get through to the 12 weeks, and I'm not just saying this for Transform, I'm saying it with any course, that if you can follow something consistently for a period of 10 to 12 weeks, three months is a really good time, that you will see profound changes in the way your mind works, in the way your relationships are in your life. So it's about finding a teacher, finding something and stepping up to that. And then when you're ready, some people skip this step and jump right into full coaching. I certainly did. You know, I signed up when I didn't have the money to a coaching program that was thousands and thousands of euro that I didn't have because I knew I needed help and I needed um, I, I needed a fast and I needed to just throw. I, I just couldn't. <laughs> So some people do that. And if you're that person, that, that's great as well. And that's the level of support where you mean business, where there's no going back, where you're ready 100% to commit. You know you need to change. You know that. And most of our changes that we need are our mindset, our stuff, programs that are running in our mind from years and years ago that um, are still running our lives. So it's about looking at that looking is the hardest thing but it's also the very first best most beautiful step that you can do bringing awareness to what is going on in your mind you know an example of that is before i was coming on this call <clears throat> i had a panic attack it's going master class really who do you think you are <laughs> really oh my god here she goes again and there was this negative role you know, but I'm used to that. I've seen it. I have heard it right throughout my whole life. I know that voice. I know it's there. I know it's my ego. And it's just, if I listened to it, I would never do anything. But it took me years of looking, of bringing the awareness to that, of being able to see that. And it's only in, in seeing it. So I was able to step outside of that and go, oh, there we go again. But it's going to be fine. <laughs> and as people were signing up, I could feel the panic building. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It always works out. I, oh, if I can just come from a place of love, if I can just try to share and help somebody in some small way, then, um, then, then that's enough. That's enough. You know, you know, I try, I, I put myself down by, I haven't come on and done a fancy webinar. I should have the proper tools, the proper software. I should have PowerPoint, but all that would just take me too much time <laughs> and I wouldn't get it right. And I would waste time and energy trying to be perfect. So I just thought I'm just going to come here on the screen, be myself and whatever happens, happens, you know, and it usually works out. <laughs> so um, stepping up big time. And that is why I created the Math Root Metatron course. I'm going to talk to you about this very quickly for a few minutes, and then I'm going to go to questions. <clears throat> so that's why I created the Math Root Metatron course, to help light workers who are ready to take that big, huge step in their business, in their spiritual business, to go from having no clients or underselling themselves or at a point of exhaustion and boring out or heading there having invested thousands of pounds, my story, thousands of pounds, thousands of euros, thousands of dollars, <clears throat> thousands of hours, and still not making money, still not shining their light, still not clear on their purpose, still not clear on who the people are in their sacred contract, who their tribe is. And to have those light workers to get really, really crystal clear. And it's not an easy course. It really is not an easy course. It's not for everybody. Everybody that applies for this course won't get in because you need to have gone through a certain level of SHIT. You need to have gone through some healing. You need to be have maybe Reiki attunements or have IET or done some level of spiritual inquiry and have experienced some sort of trauma in your life and have on your own healing otherwise you, you won't be ready for this because the first module 
This is channeled from Metatron. The first module is the base chakra. And for most of us, that's around security and passion and money. And it is all about that. But Metatron brings in a whole other level, which is forgiveness. And forgiveness is huge. It's so big. And, and it's about, first of all, forgiving everybody out there that we think that did us wrong. And then it's, it's it, 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 really, that's just a camouflage. What forgiveness is about is about coming back to ourselves and forgiving ourselves. It's self-forgiveness. And the behind forgiveness, again, is love. And that's where that course starts. It's a year-long program, but the first module, and it can take people a week or three months to do that first module to really get that to that place of, of love within themselves, of complete forgiveness for all your mistakes, warts and all. This is who you are. This is you and you are a gift. Feeling myself getting emotional again. You're a gift to the world exactly as you are. You know, everything that you've experienced, even the parts of you that you hate still, you know, the shadow parts, all of that is necessary. All of that is 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 your bundle is your package that 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 you offer to the world you know so <clears throat> it's not an easy journey it takes you through um forgiveness then it goes through support accepting the support some people take my courses and they don't engage they sign up and they don't engage and that just breaks my heart you know engage in the material and it's about reaching out for support for your teachers from your fellow <clears throat> light workers that are on the journey with you, asking for help when you're stuck. I can't get through this part. Ask for help. So it's about that support is the sacral. And then you move into the solar plexus um, module. And that's the surrender. That is where the surrender comes. That was the point where I was in my life where I just gave it all up. I can't do this. And it's from the surrender that you can move through to the, to the resurrection, which is the heart chakra. You can begin to build, rise again, build something new, build a new life, start again. But it's only after you've worked through those other layers that you reach the heart, which is the gateway, that you can, you can open up. You know, and then you can, you can arrive at the throat, which is expressing yourself Um. And, and being visible, this was one of the biggest modules for a lot of people. The heart and the throat were huge modules for people. And the, the people that I have working, that I'm working with at the moment have been able to go from dreaming about a program to, to, to running it. There's, there's one, one participant is in her second round with, with people. And it's just a joy to watch. She's completely on purpose. Her course is Soulful Parenting. She's working with parents to help them. She's helped me so much with my kids. So um, that is what the <clears throat> Mass Root Metatron course is. It's a year-long commitment. It's not an easy journey. But if any of this is resonating with you, I am enrolling this month, the month of June. I have limited places available and on the is it the 30th of June, the last day of June, the, the course will, will close again for a year or at least for six to nine months. <clears throat> so if you're interested in speaking to me about this, even if you're thinking, right, I'm not sure about the money, because there is an investment. It's a lot of time and effort and, and love that I, and support and encouragement that you get on this program. You can read about it all. On, there's a link at the top of the page. And um, there's really a part of my heart and soul into it. So, and there is an investment for that. And even if you want to just talk about that, if, if there's something within you that's saying, this is, uh, that you want to work with me, that you know you want to work with me on this level. And you can still work at the Transformer Angels course. You can still continue to get all my free videos. But if you're ready as a light worker to step up, and really to start creating a business that's sustainable, that's profitable, and that's fulfilling for you, then really consider Master Root Metatron and consider getting on the phone and talking to me about it. So a discovery call with me at the moment is 197 euros. That's the value I put on it. 
but I'm offering that for free for the month of June for anyone that wants to speak to me around Master Root Metatron. And as I said, not everybody, you might get on the call, you'll get some really one-to-one -one clarity about where you are in your life, where you need to go and what the blocks and challenges are that are stopping you or holding you back. And we'll just <clears throat> break through those and give you a step-by-step -step plan to help you to start to create the business that you want, the holistic business that you want and the spiritual business that you want. So I have I have six spaces this week. I had 10, four are gone. And I think the following week I have another 10 spaces. And I have nothing else in my, in my diary, but I will have some more in the last week in June as well. And all I can say to you is encourage you just to book that. If you're in the Facebook group, go and um, find the link, book a call with me or follow the link on the, the Mastery Metatron page. It's transformatangelsin12weeks.com forward slash Archangel Metatron. So you can go there and you can find the apply now button, click that, and that will bring you through to make an appointment with me to have a chat. It's as simple as that. And let's just see where that goes. You know, that could be an hour of pure catalyst and change in your life. And it could be the support that you need right now just to take that next step. Whether you sign up for the program or not, whether you feel it, we're, whether we both feel that we're a fit for each other or not, for that moment, we can see, we can invite in the energy of Metatron and the angels and see where that can take you in your life. So that is really all that I have to say. And my God, I've been speaking for an hour and 10 minutes. So I hope I was uh, something that I said resonated or helped you today. And what I'm going to do is very quickly take some questions. Is there anyone that would like to come on? I have about 20 minutes left. And is there anyone that would like to hop on the hot seat with me here? And we can have a conversation together and I can pull an angel card for you. So let me see. I'm going to take questions around light work. So there's one question here. <clears throat> And it's from Julie. I've been guided to do spiritual work for world peace. That's fantastic. I send love to the world during meditation. I feel comfortable that this is my spiritual business. And I've been guided to do work in society to make a living. Just want to have some validation that this is my path. Julie, that is amazing. You are, I can see you have a, a ACIM minister, so I'm presuming that's a course of miracles, which I'm a student of as well for the last six, seven years, and probably will be for the rest of my life. Um, so if if you feel that that's your life purpose, then that's your life purpose. If you know that within you, and the questions to ask yourself is, when you think about sending out love to the world, sending out peaceful thoughts during meditation, and I've done this, but it does it bring you joy does it lift your heart does it help you to know that you're helping people and the 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 validation that i think you're seeking i think you've got it in this webinar i think everything that i've said today in this class um is just pure validation for that i'm just going to pull an angel card for you and um which is it going to be? It's going to be, okay, I have three decks out, but it's going to be, <clears throat> this is the Archangel Tarot card. <clears throat> and this is for Julie. And she's just looking for validation, angels, that this is her life purpose. So that's it. That's it. You couldn't make the stuff up. So you have Raziel. So you have a spiritual healer and teacher. Many, 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 many past lives, love. You've been here um, doing this work many, many times, right back to Atlantis, um, where you were a high priestess, you were a teacher, you were a healer, and you've had many, many past lives, and you've already done this. And your reason for validation is that at some point, because we've all, anyone who's been a worker in more than one lifetime, and even maybe in this lifetime has received some level of persecution, uh, even torture for their beliefs and their, 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 their need to, <clears throat> to spread love in the world. 
as simple as that. Witches were hunted for a few hundred years, tortured, killed, um, and healers and and uh, have experienced that right throughout centuries of, of life on this planet. So your card is number nine. <clears throat> nine is the number of the hermit, the lantern. He holds a lantern. It's a beautiful card. And, the, and in this tech, it's Archangel Raziel, who is that helps us to access our past lives. And the reason you would want to even access them is to help you to move through blocks um, and bring the richness of those lives, bring the lessons of those lives forward into this life so that you can start to really live a life on purpose. So, you know, bringing back the memory of things that you've learned, that you don't have to do them again. And your card reads, joy through spiritual growth, and that's it, as you are, because you are developing yourself spiritually, as you're offering this love and this healing out into the world, you're developing yourself spiritually. And it says, be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So this card is just so absolutely perfect for you. There's um, Archangel Raziel, the hermit, and up the lantern for the world. So you are, that. that's you, you're a light worker. <clears throat> you are holding up your lantern of peace and love to the world. I mean, that's the Dalai Lama's job. You know, that's all he does. He just goes around the world and speaks about peace. But because it's his profession, because it's his vocation, he's fed. He has enough to eat. He has um, uh, money to pay for flights when he needs to get around the world to speak. And now he's live streaming. The Dalai Lama is in his 60s and he's live streaming. I got the wonderful opportunity to meet him a few years ago when he came to Kildare in Ireland and, and gave a talk. I was there in a very small group, maybe three, 400 people in, in a church in Kildare. It was a stunning experience to be with somebody, to be in the presence of somebody whose sole purpose is to spread peace. So I hope that answered your question, Julie. And if you're in the Facebook group, you can tag me and remind me and I'll, I'll post your picture or you can tag me somewhere after this and and um, I can I can share this picture. I'll post it in the Facebook group and hopefully you can find me there. If you find me, Ashling Mooney on Facebook, you should find the, um, the group. Um, so that is a stunning card. So let me see if there's any other messages. If you want to just give me a high five, Julie, to let me know that that's OK or. Oh, brilliant. Oh, it brings me great joy. I love it. The message makes me feel so good. And thank you so much. Thank you, love. You're on path. You're on track. Just follow that bliss. Follow that love that's in your heart. When, you, when, you, when you're doing what you love, that, that's it. That's your purpose. And any help I can give you, tag me, ask me questions, join the Facebook group. Any help I can give you at all, I'd be delighted to do that. And I can't wait. Please, I'd love to hear some of your meditations. Maybe you might share a meditation with us in the Facebook group that we could all join in. And it's so easy to live stream and, and offer free material out there. And that could be the start of your spiritual business. Even the word business doesn't really suit sometimes, but it can be maybe a vocation might be a better word, you know, that it can it can help you to create a vocation that is sustainable while you you deliver this message and this peace and this love out to the world. So I'm really delighted that resonated with you. Thank you so much. Blessings. Okay. So I'm going to ask, is there any other questions around, um, around um, your work as a light worker? And this one is from Kelly and you posted this before in the Facebook group, Kelly. Kelly. And it was, how do I know how much to charge and how long is each session? I think that was it. So I'm going to uh, pull a card again from this deck, Kelly. And I know, Kelly, that you're you're really starting. You've got, you've got a, a client there. I'm not sure if it was your first client, but you've got a client there, a mother and daughter, um, which I'm really excited about, that, you know, that you get to help somebody. And I've said this before to you, that it's your spirit, your energy, um, is quite playful, is quite fairy like, is quite. Um, so you would, you're here for children, you know, you're here for parents. Um, 
children and a lot of people who work with Metatron are here for the next generation. So a lot of people that are attracted to work with me on a deeper level are either working with parents or children. Um, and it's about that next generation. So this is for Kelly. So your question, you know, you said, how much do I, how do I know how much to charge and how long is each session? Well, let's just see what the angels see. <clears throat> so it's, you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So, you know, how much to charge is a difficult question. Because when you're starting a spiritual practice in any way, whether that's healing, you do need to give a certain amount of work for free or for, for low value to get your practice up, to get your uh, confidence up. Because as you start to work with people and they, they get results, your confidence builds and you, you, you feel like you're on track. So, and I've done hundreds of hours pro bono work, you know, one-to-one -one sessions and live sessions. And I've hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, thousands of hours probably at this stage. Um, and in each thing that I learned, back flowers was probably 30 case studies. Um, my massage, as a massage therapist, 30 case studies, as an NLP practitioner, 30 case studies, thousands of free hours. And then when I started off, I would have started off with my prices quite low. So the difference now is that I am, um, for example, my um, discovery, angel discovery call with me is the value of that is 197. It's actually priceless, but that's the value that I'm putting on it because of the catalytic the catalyst that it can bring for you in your life and business. And I know this for, for certain, absolutely know it from the feedback I've got from clients, the catalyst that that creates, the transformation, that turning point that that error creates, it's, it's worth much more than that 197 euros. But occasionally I discount it. So in the boot camp, it was 57 to do that. Now, as enrollments for Mastery with Metatron, it's completely free, you know. So the, the value of something and the, 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 the actual price that you receive for that can be two different things. So when it becomes a problem is when you have um, a light worker, or something that quite upsets me when I see people offering readings or, or God, Reiki healings, and it's, 25 euro for an hour's work. You know, when I hire a room, it can be 15 euro to hire a room for an hour. So if I was to charge 25 euro for a healing session with me for an hour, that would mean I would make 10 euro. I wouldn't even cover my childcare costs. And you need to take into, the, into account as well that as a light worker, it's not a nine to five job. It's you can't do eight hours a day. I don't know anyone on this planet. Please let me know if you're out there that can do eight hours of healing a day. You know, the most that I can do that, that I, uh, clients that I would speak to is four a day. And that's probably two days a week. That's the most. So I only see eight clients a week maximum. Now, during this enrollment month, I've cleared some more space in my calendar. So I'll be speaking to more people and I'll be working with more clients. But generally, it's maximum eight people. And sometimes it's a lot, lot less if I just don't feel like working with people, if I don't feel my energy's high enough. So you have to bring other factors into when you, um, if you're only starting off and you're building up experience, then the value of, of an hour with you might, might be 60 euro. I'm just throwing that figure out. And you can, you'll find that yourself. But you might say for the month of June or July or for the summer, I'm going to charge. It's going to be half price. So everybody knows the value, knows what you what they can expect to pay full price and knows that they're getting a discount. So and it's, it, it gives a sense of value to the customer as well, to the pe person that's coming to work with you. Whereas if you say to someone it's 25 euro. And this somebody else is charging 60 and they look on that. There is a difference. There is a difference. People put more value. 
So it's about, but if you say to somebody, this is the price, but you're getting it at this price, then, then there is a balance. So I hope that's explaining that properly. The ways that you can find the true value of your work is just to, to tune into that. So to just ask yourself to go through the numbers from whatever feels so so a session i'm not sure exactly what you I, I think it's a healing work that you do kelly um to sort of think about right well what 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 price am i happy with and for me it's a good feeling for me it's a feeling of uh, i can't work for this it's too low and that's from years of practice years of experience of working with clients and coming out exhausted and having to pay the child care and not and it's just this isn't adding up this isn't adding up so and the other thing about this is that when you get really, really clear on the clients that you're here to serve, those clients will pay you. I guarantee you this, those clients will pay you what you ask because you've done the work to get really, really clear on, on, on who it is that you, and, and they will, as I said to you, people find me out of nowhere. People just are attracted. They just find me. They, I, I come to them in a dream or they see something walking down the street or they just find me accidentally. So when you get really, really clear, people will find you and people will pay to work with you because they know that you're their teacher or their, their the healer that they need at that moment in their life. So we can work more. You're in the Transformed Angels course, Kelly. And I want you to come back into that group and ask that question again. And we can look at that again. And there's a couple of modules in there. The Zadkia module will really help you. And just keep going with the course, love. You're doing fantastic. So just keep going. And um, and I hope that was helpful. So let's see. We have lots of messages, but not a lot of time. <clears throat> so I have five minutes left. You get tired. You get tired, Kelly, because you're not working with your clients, with the right clients, love. So I want you to bring that question into the Transformer Angels group, and we're going to look at that. OK, and book a call with me. Please book a call with me and let's just see where we can take this. You know, you might be ready for Metatron. You might not. But let's just explore it and, and see if we can help you in your business. So let's see who else is there. Healing and coaching. Yes, love. OK, so. <clears throat> uh, now. I'm just going to scroll down quickly. Okay, and there's another couple of questions here, but they're not related to business in a, as a light worker. So what I'm going to do is answer them individually. So anyone that's posted a message that I didn't get to, private message me if I forget, but otherwise I will pick a card for you individually and, and I'll post it for you, either private message or in the Facebook group. So... <clears throat> I want to thank you all for being here today. I hope to be speaking to some of you very soon on the phone. I hope to be helping you in your journey as a spiritual practitioner and healer in your spiritual business. And I hope above all that I have helped and served you in some way today to value yourself, to value your work, to start realizing what, what is your specific life purpose what it is that you're here to really really do and the people that you're here to serve i hope i hope i hope that even if the words didn't come out right that the energy of healing and love underneath them helped you in some way in your life today and i just got 1016 high fives and i'm absolutely delighted with that that's the most i've gotten an hour <laughs> so i'm very and there's more coming in thank you so much thank you i absolutely loved doing this and that tells me that I'm on purpose, that this is part of what my reason for being here is just sharing this space, this sacred, beautiful angel space with you all today. And I hope that it made some difference in your life. And I hope that above all, my message is that you're not alone. You don't have to do this on your own. There's support out there. There's earth angels out there. I'm out there. There's lots of teachers out there. And there's a huge realm of spiritual and angelic support available to help you in every single second and step of your life. So God bless you all and have a fantastic day wherever you are. I love you all very much. Thanks for being here. Bye.